First of all, thank you all very much for watching my video on YouTube and following my links over from Facebook to YouTube, liking my video, commenting on my video, both on Facebook and on YouTube. I certainly appreciate that very much. I'd like to take just a second to address a couple of things that came up in the questions in the comment section down below uh, from a couple of the viewers on my video. The first question was, uh, how do I work with portions? How do I deal with my portion control? The, 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 the basic deal is this. In the U.S. here especially, we have gotten so uh, used to having our portions grow way past what the recommended size of a portion should be. We have this thought that if we have a plate of pasta or another type of meal, Mexican food, what have you, it needs to be a full plate of food to get the value of that, uh, the, the, the price value for the food value and the size of the portion. We've gotten very skewed in that. I was in Australia last year, as many of you all know, spent quite a bit of time over there, a lot of observations I had on the food over there, specific to portions. Not only the, well, aside from the portions, also the healthier aspect of the Australian food, they don't use preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, those syrup, those kind of things. But the portions themselves were much, much smaller. The pricing was virtually identical. So ounce per ounce, it was probably even more expensive to eat in Australia, but there's less food and you walk away more sated and more happy once you've eaten there um, uh, for the exact same price. What we do here is we have the guilt, at least I was kind of raised with that guilt, that you need to finish everything on your plate. If you don't finish it, some child somewhere in the world is gonna starve because you were overserved some food. That's just not the case, directly. What I've tried to do is either split meals when I can, which, when possible, order a smaller portion, ask what's a smaller portion item that I can order off the menu, or third, uh, take the food and effectively split it on my plate or off to a second plate and just to keep half of the serving or half of the plate of food there, eat that at a normal pace, drinking water and whatnot while I'm eating to get myself full on that half portion. If I find myself after I've eaten and taken a few minutes after I find, if I find myself to be still be a little bit hungry, then I might grab a little bit more off that secondary plate. More often than not, I just don't do that. Another question that was asked, and that's the close on portions. Another question I was asked is, um, does Apple Watch motivate me? Yeah, it sure does. A number of ways. Number one is all my kids uh, and several of my friends have Apple Watch, so I have added them as contacts on Apple uh, through the Apple Watch program where they can watch me and I can watch them on their activity levels. We can spur them on, you can jab at them uh, and, and, and kind, of, kind of have some friendly competition through the watch environment. Personally, I look at my rings as something that I need to close every day. And this kind of became a slight obsession for me several weeks ago. And now I am at the point where I want to have all three of my rings closed every day. Something else that was asked to me of me was the standing piece of it. How do I know when to stand up? Pretty simple. Days like today, it's Monday. Days like today, I had a lot of conference calls this morning, our mon typical Monday morning conference calls. During those calls, it's very difficult to get up and walk around and remind myself to do so. Apple Watch at 10 minutes till the hour, 10 minutes till 9, 10 till 10, 10 till 11, whatnot. If you haven't stood and walked around during that hour, at 10 till the hour, it'll notify you to say, hey, it's time to stand up. And you have 10 minutes to stand up, do your quick little walkabout, and then go back to your work. Luckily for me, all my conference calls are done on my cell phone, so I can just pick up my phone with me and walk around my house or if I'm at my office or if I'm at a hotel, I can walk around and get those steps in or get that activity level going in that 10 minute window to close that next hour of a ring. Is it a perfect situation? No, sometimes I can't do it. If it's a uh, call where it's a WebEx or I'm having to view content, if I'm delivering the call, if I'm, I'm actually presenting on the call, a little more difficult to do that. But mostly I can get, I can survive all that. The next question was asked is what kind of exercises do I do? I am not a personal trainer. I am a neophyte at all this kind of stuff, but most of my exercise is done on a, an elliptical machine I have here in the office, which is sitting right over there, and I'll work out on that. Um, when I travel, I do prefer elliptical over treadmill just because it's I like the, the up, up and down movement of the elliptical and the arm pumps and whatnot. 
So I tend to like the elliptical more. That's just a personal preference of mine. If you're a treadmill lover, cool, great, love it. But it's just not my bag. I'm not a road building track treadmill fan. Uh, and I do try to get out and run. I have different apps on my phone that I do track my runs, both the GPS and my watch, to get me the distance covered, heart rate, these kind of things like that. There's also a couple of apps that I use that help challenge me in my exercise and help train me in my exercise with a run walk type deal, helping me do like a two mile or three mile run walk type deal where I might run for a minute, walk for 90 seconds, run for a minute, 90 seconds, walk for two minutes, back and forth. And the walking is kind of like a speed walk type thing. It's again, not the leisurely stroll to the ice cream store. Uh, and then the last one is on the exercise settings and the watch. How do I deal with that? And it's again, pretty simple. Apple Watch version two, uh, and I'm assuming on version one as well with the updates, you can choose your activity on the watch. You can scroll through the different screens on the in the workout app and tell it that you want to run indoors or outdoors, walk indoor or outdoor, elliptical, rowing machine, swimming. Um, uh, there's a number of different uh, workouts that are that are kind of pre preloaded into the watch to check for that type of activity and that kinetic energy that your body puts out during doing these different types of uh, exercises. So anyway, again, thank you very much for the feedback on the uh, on the videos and on my uh, 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 Facebook on my Facebook page. As a little update, uh, I am traveling this week and heading out of town. This time it's a car trip versus a airplane trip, which means that I'll have to stop along the way at least once or twice to get my hours out of the way. Get up, I'll maybe stop over at a, at a rest stop or something like that and just walk up and down a little bit on the sidewalk just to kind of keep the keep some blood flowing, keep the heart going a little bit during my drive. I'm just driving a few hours south of here, but still it's gonna be a um, something I wanna to try to do. And of course, I'll be taking my exercise equipment with me. I'm not traveling with my scale. I'm not quite that, you know, into this deal. I need to travel with the scale to find out my weight gain or loss for the next couple of days. But I will do a baseline weight tomorrow. And then when I return on Thursday, I'll weigh myself again Friday morning. I do weigh myself at roughly the same time every day uh, in the same manner of dress or non-dress to again, keep that baseline very, very accurate with the gain, uh, weight gains, weight losses. Yesterday was a loss, 1.3 pounds of a loss. So uh, yay, Team Steven, um, uh, good day yesterday. Uh, already done my workouts today and, and well on my way to closing all three rings for the first day of May. Anyway, thanks again very much for your support, reaching out to me both on Facebook and through YouTube. Uh, the private messages I got from several of you on um, Facebook were great. A couple of old time, long time friends uh, reached out to me. One is a health coach and she has some very, very great encouraging things to say to me. So thank you very much for that. Um, uh, and again, people through, even through text messaging, a, a very dear friend of mine in, in uh, Arkansas uh, uh, sent me a very nice note about um, how similar our challenges were with weight and portions and all that kind of good stuff. So I, I, I guess I'll end this by saying this. Uh, I am not suffering alone. This is a systemic issue we have in our society with the over-serving, over-portions and whatnot. My advice to you would be to ask when you're eating out, which I do frequently, if there is a smaller portion, reduced size plate, or again, look at splitting, which is sometimes not socially acceptable in, in a business environment, uh, uh, but there's other ways to handle this. Ask for a to-go box immediately, cut your food in half, put half of it into the go-to-go to -go box, eat the rest of it with you, on, on your plate rather. And then if you do keep a little bit, get a little bit hungry, steal a little bit out of your to-go box. But it's a great way to kind of self-regulate. Anyway, that's it for now. Again, many thanks and I will see you soon.